I think. Thank you very much. My size. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Very sweet. Yeah. That is a beautiful cucumber. Mm. I can never have enough. I'd say that's the best I've ever tasted. So when, basically, from when you pick, you pick today, what time do you pick? We pick today, we send them to the market today. Beautiful. So it's 20, less than 24 hours. Less right? than 24 hours available to the shop. How do they travel, Jack? How do they travel, like as far as freight wise, they have damage in, in the process? No, no, it's, it's well packaged, it's yep. all packed in the farm and sent to the market straight ahead. Yeah. Same day. And you overlook the packing, packing process? Of course. So you're the quality control. Quality control. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. And you're the taste it? controller? It's all about taste, flavour and freshness. I was talking with Philippe, a friend and a brilliant chef who creates awesome dishes. He always buys the best of produce because Philippe claims he also gets less waste and that means more money in his hands. And that's why Paul met with Joe Vistani, a grower of 40 years experience, known as the grower who put the flavour back into tomatoes and cucumbers. To grow a good cucumber. Yeah. It's not something you just learn at school, it's something you live with and yeah. you have, you know, experience. Experience. Yeah. Experience will get you there. So do you talk to the point? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. No, that's good. You, you talk to a plant by knowing what the plant needs and uh, from looking at it you know you know what it needs yeah. and if you grow a healthy plant it can give you a healthy fruit yeah. so how do you get more flavor out of your, out of your, out of your fruit there are lots of techniques then uh, and there are so many so many factors you know like the varieties now every like type of cucumber have a different taste and all we do is the addition or yep. you know you know what the plant needs yep. to to get that little bit extra yeah really we can a grower can, can't add much but a grower by bad practice can lessen of course the flavor you can make it yep. a lot worse or uh, worse than other yeah uh, really if you give the plant what it needs and uh, what it requires, you don't compromise on cost and other things, you get yeah. good result. So do you, obviously, pest control is a big issue? Oh, that's, these days, the regulation, there is a standard, and myself, I'd like to go be a lot higher than what the requirement you is. You've your own, your own my program? Own, my own program, mm -hmm. because, you see, first from a sense that, for me, we live on in the farm and my yes. family i'm the first user of what we produce yes. and my family so it's it's a sense anyway because days have changed and people know how nasty chemicals are we try to minimize the use of chemical sometimes i compromise with the disease i could lose a crop but i won't do the wrong thing yes. and and use chemical when it's not so you're feeding your family the same crop as of your... Course. Of course, of yeah. course. And what, uh, you can tell by the health of the plants. You can tell. It's, a, it's working, obviously working. Oh, look, we have the ups and downs, sometimes diseases as weather is a factor, and you got to know what to do at the right time. See, in a day like this, you have to give the plant more than usual. you got to give it what it needs at every time. you got to live with it. That's the most important thing. So at the end of the day, you could save a lot more money by using less, less, less. Of course, of course, yeah, of money. course. If you want to look just financial part, you can, you can have production in the market. You can have bigger size. You can, you, you can maximize the size. You, no, we do the right thing. You know, I've got a mini cucumber. I pick the cucumber the size it needs to be picked. Yeah. Uh, you got the big. It depends with the variety. It depends. Yeah. And we try, we try, of course, we're supplying a market. We try to, to to target what these people want. 
Of yeah. course. So you see the, the market required. So the market's picking up now on the smaller cucumber, right? That's the way. I'm a believer that the trend is going to be the smaller because yeah. uh, really that's what we sell here as first. We sell as second back in other countries. But okay. that, uh, unfortunately, that's how people, or fortunately, that's how, how they like. We used to the old big cucumber. Yeah. But people are changing. Now you can't see them even in the market anymore. Yeah, true. So really people go for, for what's tastier and for what's uh, better for you. Yeah. So the smaller the cu the, the new small sw the cucumbers. The sweet it is. A lot sweeter. Right? A, a lot sweeter yeah. it is. And it's a matter of taste. Of yeah. course at the end it's a market demand. But of course. Yeah, our job is to provide the best and let people yeah. try it, you know. Well, even for marketing was with younger children, it's a lot better of for school lunchboxes. Of course, and, yeah. and I think children are the best judges because, you know, if they don't <laughs> like it, they won't buy it. That's right. And uh, our aim is to get the children used to eat good food and uh, healthy food. And yeah. so if we can make them sweeter and, and nicer and healthier, the more they want them. And the same size as the chocolate bar? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's excellent. What else? What else do you feel? What else do you feel is a, a, dif a differentiating factor? Anything else you think? Like how many, you've been you've been you've been growing for a very long time. You've yeah. seen the changes. Oh yeah. Look, uh, these days we have more options, and uh, the industry as a whole, between uh, breeders, seed breeders, and uh, producers, we're trying to accommodate for what our. Uh, consumer want, you know, like now we have varieties that they are uh, resistant to diseases and uh, yep. to problems, so we can use less chemical, we don't eat, no compromise, but it all comes across, and that's my secret, you know, <laughs> I never compromise like, you pay the best price for the best seeds it starts from, from scratch, you know, you do the right thing from the start, then you'll get what you want at the end and you, you get better results and uh, safer produce. Safer growing practices. Sure. And what about, um, so you, you, the seeds obviously, you're not compromising on your cost of the seeds and so forth. Never. Um, what, what, where's this variety come? Is it an Australian variety or is it a... Most of it is important. Now they're trying to produce in Australia when we know there is something Australian that is as good as we get from no compromise, you know, that, that's what we're aiming for. Of course. There are some now companies trying to uh, breed uh, seeds in Australia. We're trying them. Some of them are as good, you know, yeah. but we still import most of so them. So obviously you haven't got the one variety here, you've no. got several varieties. We've got several varieties because we're always searching for what's best. Excellent. Excellent. Is that enough? I think. Thank you very much. Nice size. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Very sweet. There. That is beautiful to come up. Mm. I can never have enough. I'd say that's the best I've ever tasted. So when, basically, from when you pick, you pick today, what time do you pick? We pick today, we send them to the market today. Beautiful. So it's 20, less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours available to the shop. And how do they travel, Joe? With, how do they travel, like as far as freight? Why do they have damage in, in the process? No, no, it's, it's well packaged. Yep. It's all packed in the farm and sent to the market straight ahead. Yeah. Same day. And you overlook the packing, packing process? Of course. So you're the quality control. Quality control. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. And so you're the taste controller? 